CRO provides nonpartisan research, analysis, and advocacy to create financial fairness and opportunity for all. Hi, I'm Nadine Chabrier, Senior Policy and Litigation Counsel at the Center for Responsible Lending. One new product we've been looking at is Buy Now, Pay Later. While shopping online, you may have seen offers to make purchases and in installments. In the typical arrangement, consumers can make four payments over six weeks for anything from a pair of jeans to an electronic device or appliance, even a few bags of groceries. The market for these products is exploding. Estimates of growth over the past two years range from 200% to 350%. Already, a third of U.S. adults have reported using Buy Now, Pay Later. This explosive growth makes careful scrutiny of the product and its impacts imperative, especially given that the Financial Health Network found that 24% financially vulnerable adults reported challenges making payments. A recent large-scale study looking at data of over 10 million Buy Now, Pay Later users shows a decline in their financial health. After adoption, users experienced increased overdraft fees, credit card interest, and late fees. They also experienced total spending increases consistent with Buy Now, Pay Later design, which encourages consumers to spend more. Let's look at some specific concerns around Buy Now, Pay Later products. Buy Now, Pay Later lenders are not required to assess the ability of borrowers to repay given their financial obligations. So loans are approved for consumers who may not be able to afford them. Inadequate disclosures make it difficult to compare costs and surprise fees can catch borrowers unaware. If their available balance cannot cover the required payments, consumers might find themselves charged by both the Buy Now Pay Later provider and by their bank for overdrafts if they're using their debit card for purchases. In turn, overdraft and NSF fees can lead to the closure of bank accounts and other lasting negative consequences. Losing access to mainstream banking is a hardship for families that can last for years. While a buy now pay later provider's initial soft credit inquiry may not affect a consumer's credit, falling behind on buy now pay later loans does have the potential to hurt credit scores. Refund and return rights vary from one buy now pay later provider to another, and information is often hard for consumers to decipher. Buy now pay later often does not come with the return and fraud protections of credit cards. So consumers may end up with no merchandise and money still being taken out of their accounts or credit cards. Consumers have complained to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and to the Better Business Bureau about difficulty initiating disputes, delays in receiving refunds, and continued demand for payment during that process. Buy Now Pay Later products are certainly credit products. Because of this, CFPB has indicated that it will issue guidance to clarify Buy Now Pay Later should be treated like credit cards under the law. Thank you for listening. Please connect with us at responsiblelending.org or follow us on social media.